will Puerto Rico become an independent country, become the 51st state of the United States of America, or reunify with Spain? The United States House of Representatives has just passed a bill to allow Puerto Rico to vote on a binding referendum on whether to become a state or gain independence. Now you may be asking yourself, isn't Puerto Rico a country? And what does the United States have to do with Puerto Rico? Well, it kind of has a lot to do with the island. The political status of Puerto Rico is that of an unincorporated territory of the United States. So that basically means that the island of Puerto Rico is neither a sovereign nation nor a U.S. state. Puerto Rico is located in the Northeast Caribbean Sea and includes the main island and several smaller islands such as Mona, Culebra, and Vieques. Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricanos, or Boricuas are technically U.S. citizens and have been since the year 1917 and have the ability to move freely between the island and the United States. However, as residents of an unincorporated territory, Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricanos are not allowed to vote for the United States presidential elections and generally do not pay federal income tax. So although they have the title of being U.S. citizens, they're not given the same rights and freedoms of citizens on the so-called mainland. Although Spanish and English are the official languages of Puerto Rico, the Spanish language is the language of the island and has been since the Spaniards first arrived on its shores in the year 1493. The Spanish language has been intertwined with the history, culture, people, and identity of the island. Which is what created a roadblock, if you will, of making the island the 51st state. Because the majority of Puerto Rico has a Spanish-speaking population, over 95% of the total population of the island. The Puerto Rico Department of Education's project for developing a bilingual citizen was rejected by teacher organizations and demonstrations happened throughout the island, viewing it as a slow death to the Spanish language and the identity and culture of the island. Rather than it being viewed as a ticket to economic opportunity, it has been perceived rightly so as a means to make the island palatable to the United States lawmakers. The Spanish heritage in Puerto Rico can be felt heard and seen in its customs and many traditions. Its dialect of Spanish heavily influenced by the many Spaniards who arrived from the Canary Islands of southern Spain and in the old and new architectural designs throughout the island. Puerto Ricanos, Puerto Ricans, have such a connection to the Canary Islands so much so that when they visit mainland Spain, Spaniards oftentimes confuse them for being from the Canary Islands. When you think about Spanish language music, one country usually comes to mind, Puerto Rico, and for good reason. Puerto Rico made history when Luis Fonsi and world-renowned Daddy Yankee made the hit single Despacito. Despacito, a song in Spanish, became the highest certified song in RIAA history, certified 13 times platinum and representing U.S. sales and streams exceeding 13 million units. Turn on your radio in any major city across the globe, and you'll probably hear reggaeton, a genre of Spanish music that originated on the island of Puerto Rico. It's safe to say Puerto Rico has certified itself as the cultural center for the Spanish-speaking world, as Egypt has done for the Arabic-speaking world. Singers from across Latin America and Spain come to Puerto Rico to springboard to stardom. Carmelo Delgado Cintron, 
the former director of the Institute of Puerto Rican Culture, was quoted as saying, Puerto Rico is a Spanish-speaking country, and to introduce in a massive way instruction in English is to try to Americanize us, to return to the past. Cinturón, who now heads up a group called Spanish First, continued by adding, I don't have anything against the United States, but we have a culture that should be valued and defended. This sentiment of Puerto Rico being a country rather than a territory or potential 51st state of the United States of America has been reiterated by many Puerto Ricans and is quite palpable once setting foot on the island. There's also another faction of Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricanos, looking to reunify with the motherland, Spain. This option calls for Puerto Rico to become part of Spain once again as an autonomous community, such as the Canary Islands. Many Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricanos, have also requested Spanish citizenship through the historical memory law. Puerto Ricans naturally have an affinity to Spain due to being linked to the European country for over 400 years and sharing a language, culture, history, and traditions. What do you think about the situation in Puerto Rico? Should it become the 51st state of the United States of America and potentially lose its culture, language, and identity? Or should it become an independent country and dictate its future on its own terms? And the last option, should Puerto Rico reunify with Spain as an autonomous community? You be the judge. Hi, my name is Roberto, and I'm the voice behind the channel. I greatly appreciate you watching the video until the end. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And share the videos with anyone that you think would appreciate them. Thank you.